We've been wanting turkeys in Call of the Wild for almost three years now, ever since they first came out. They said it wasn't possible. They said they couldn't add turkeys to Layton Lakes because they just didn't belong on this map. Well, we finally got them. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get out there and hunt them for the first time on Layton Lakes. All right, so here's basically what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be starting over here by Layton Lowe's and we're gonna be working this whole entire ridge top all the way along here, along past this outpost here and up to this point all the way around over to this pond over here because this is all full of spruce trees and if you hunt turkey you know they love to roost in spruce trees all right so we're going to set up our decoys right here which will be roughly 30 yards out from the brush we'll set them all up right here and then we're going to get back into that brush over there all right guys here we are we're tucked in right here we're about 15 yards out from the decoys and the turkey should be coming in from over there. It's actually a perfect setup here. One, because we can see through this little pocket, pretty nice. And two, because we have full cover as well. All right, here we go, guys. We got motion. It looks like we got a hand coming in here. She's about 40 yards out. Oh my God, there he is. That's the one we've been looking for. That's the one right there. Look at this turkey coming in. Oh, that's a sweet looking gobbler coming in here. He's about 50 yards out. There's another gobbler coming in the back, but we are definitely keeping our main focus on this guy right here. Look at that. Oh man, that's awesome. He is coming in perfect. Coming in right to the decoys. You should see him any second now and want to keep on coming right in. All we got to do is keep him interested. All right, there's the other gobbler. So this turkey, oh my God, here he comes. He's 20 yards out. He's coming in, perfect. We're gonna have to take the shot. He is coming right in. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, 10 yards away, we smoked him. <laughs> oh, there's the other gobbler. Doubled up, baby! Woo! Man, that was awesome. Well. <laughs> tell you what. We definitely don't have any bobcats on this map. I can tell you that. <laughs> oh. The change from this map compared to the New England mountains is like night and day. I mean, every time we found a gobbler on the New England mountains, we had to worry about the bobcats coming in and scaring the crap out of everything. Here, there's nothing to scare them. So I thought this morning, I was like, you know what? You guys were saying we should hunt Layton Lakes. And I really wanted to get more into the turkey. But honestly, yesterday, those turkeys had me so stressed out from the bobcats that I kind of wasn't sure if we wanted to really hunt turkeys today. But then I remembered. There are no predators on this map that can really scare these turkeys away. At least, not that I know of. But this is going to make for a really sweet picture. Yes, it definitely is. Alright, let's go with that. And let's pick them up. It's going to be a 4.30 light brown gold tom turkey. And we took him at 8 yards away. Got him right below that breastbone and almost got in there to get a heart shot, but made a nice right lung shot on that turkey. And yes, we are definitely gonna get him mounted. Came right in there. Let's take a look at the spurs on him. Yeah, nice spurs. They don't look near as big as the one that we got yesterday. The one that scored 4.55. So that does make sense. This thing's not quite as big, so it wouldn't have as big of spurs. Now, I don't know if this is a fact or not, but I'm hoping that's going to be in the very near future for sure. All right, so we got him. Now let's go over here and grab our second gobbler. I was actually having kind of a difficult time finding turkeys. But then we got a spot and it turned out to be 
one heck of a pretty amazing location. Here's this gobbler down. It's a dark brown 4.37 gold. Got him at 28 yards, right in the back of the neck and the lung and the chest there. Top of the neck, lower neck. Yeah, perfect shot. And another beautiful gobbler down. He was actually a max weight as well. 20 pounder, so a very nice gobbler down indeed. All right, here we go. Now this is one of those spots where it's gonna be super difficult to be able to see him coming in. But we do have decent cover here, so I think we'll have to work with that. And I don't honestly know if maybe we want to put our decoy down here. And we'll probably be able to watch him come in from over the top of that hill. That's what I think we're probably going to end up doing. Because if we hang tight right by this hill, then before we know it, he's going to be right on top of us. And then it's going to be too late. So I think we'll just set up maybe like one hand decoy here. And we're going to tuck back into this brush. But what a nice setup. Hunting down here on these river bottoms like this. All right, come on. Give me some cover. Well, it's not looking like we're getting cover. Unfortunately, we don't have any cover here. Oh, oh, oh. We got a moose calling down there. But we aren't going to need tons of cover. So I think we'll just hang tight here, call a little bit, and hope that he comes into range. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He's right there, he's right there, he's right there, guys. You gotta be kidding me. Oh! He just snuck in to 10 yards away. All we could see was his head popping up. Big red head, and I knew that was definitely our gobbler. Oh my god. We took him at 10 yards away from us. You see how smart he is, though? So typically, you would think, okay, he's going to come strutting down this hill right here, right? Going right to the decoy and approaching the hen. But no, he has to go down the hill and try and sneak in from the backside. That way, we don't even see him coming. We were literally sitting right in that tree right there. And he almost got close enough to be able to bust us. That's what his goal was. But we got him. There he is. A nice size one as well. 4.45 gold. Took him at 17 yards. And that thing was absolutely done for. 31 hits to the neck and head. Wow. Beautiful gobbler down as well. Take a look at that thing. Again, he's got some pretty good spurs as well, as you can see there. Nice sharp spurs. Looks to be about like five eighths of an inch, probably. There we go. Another gobber down. Man, that was a rush. Honestly, that was one heck of a hunt. Like, for him to come in that close, never even made a sound. And all of a sudden, we can just see the redhead peeking up right on top of us there. Wow, that was epic. I mean, I was honestly kind of hoping that he would have gobbled at least once. Especially the fact that that's kind of how I found him. Was by walking around and then I heard a gobble. Man, I am absolutely loving hunting late lakes for turkeys. Because there's all these little openings. I mean, you have mostly thick spruce trees like this. But then you have these little openings. Where they go up in these little spots like this. And they'll strut around. And it totally reminds me of hunting turkey in real life. It really does. All right, so now on a spot like this, it is gonna be extremely difficult to be able to one, locate this gobbler, and two, be able to get into a position where you can actually call him in and see when he's coming in. Now, I'd say probably our best bet or our safest bet would be to set up our decoys down here and see if he doesn't in fact come all the way down this hill into our decoys. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much the only thing that we can do because if we go up there, we're definitely going to bump that turkey and he is not going to stick around for long. 
So in this case here, I think we'll set up all of our decoys again. Again, we're going to set up our four toms and one hen. Because that's going to be max attract. And let's tuck in this brush here. And hope that we can get their attention. All right, so at least the good thing is, is that we do in fact have full cover. So that's awesome. Now we wait. Oh my God, guys, I got motion, I got motion. I definitely just saw motion. Oh, here he comes. Oh, look at this. Big gobbler coming right down the hillside. Oh man, this is awesome. I honestly did not expect for this to happen. I thought for sure he'd probably try and sneak around the backside again, like the last one did, but this guy is coming down the hill absolutely perfectly. I'd love to be able to take this one down with a bow just because we got our decoys here less than 20 yards out from us. So if he comes into the decoys, it's gonna be awesome. All right, you can see he's coming right towards us here. He's flapping his wings right in front of us there. About 50 yards out from us, so he's definitely already in range. Now we just gotta keep him interested. All the way in. All right, guys, here we go, here we go. He's 50 yards out in closing. He is coming in fast, he is coming in fast. Look at him go, look at him go. Oh man, here we go, he's 50 yards right there. Oh, that's so cool. Actually, I think we're gonna go prone. Look at how smart this gobbler is. He tried to get behind us, and now he's coming in right to the decoys. 50 yards out. Right behind that tree. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Once he steps out, he's gonna be in range. We're gonna draw back. Oh my God. He's 47 yards right there. We're gonna take the shot. Got a little bit of wind. Got him! Always put another one in him if you can get a chance. And we're gonna take him down again. Whew, we got him guys. Boy, these turkey are smart. I mean, he came down perfectly. Then he got to the top of that ridge there and started going around the backside, looped around and and he was basically going to come right directly towards us, which would not have gave us a, d a decent opportunity for a shot. So we kind of had to take a walking shot there, hit him a little far back, got intestine, but the follow-up definitely connected as well. Anyways, here is our turkey down right here. Oh, so we actually did hit him a little bit high because I was still zeroed in for 34 and he was 28 yards. But honestly, if you hit the vertebrae on a turkey like that, basically you should get intestine and spine. So that's a pretty good shot. I'll definitely take it. 4.25 gold and another nice gobbler down. I was just about to tell you guys that this is basically how we're locating all these gobblers. You definitely heard that one. Now, the thing is, we don't have a very good wind right now. So basically what we're doing is we're just running this back ridge. We started over here, worked our way down to the bottom of this little peninsula here. And we're just working this whole back ridge here. And we keep getting turkeys call or I should say gobbler's call, all the way along here. So it's turning out to be a pretty successful way to hunt these turkey. Oh, we got a moose down there too. Let's see if we can't get eyes on that. Oh, that is actually our gobbler. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> We're over here trying to find that moose and we got eyes on a gobbler. There's the moose. Uh, something tells me we're gonna have to go for kind of a far shot on this gobbler, I'll tell you that. He is way the heck out there. He is calm, so we did not spook him, but... Yeah, the wind is blowing directly towards him, so... That's not that great. But, let's work our way over there and see if we can't locate this gobbler. 
Well, there's a cow moose. And there is the bull moose. But let's see if he's decent or not. Oh, I saw paddles. Uh, yeah, how the heck did I see paddles on that thing? Oh no, he's gonna charge us, he's gonna charge us. Get the arrows, get the arrows. Oh yeah, I could tell he was gonna charge. Oh my God. Which one's charging? Which one? That bull's charging. No? Oh, she's charging. Whoa. Got a heart shot. Woo. 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 And this small bull over here, I think, is trying to fight us as well. Holy. You know how I was saying that there's no predators out here for the turkey? Well, I wasn't exactly talking about predators for us. Woo. Alright, so we definitely saw the gobbler go through here somewhere. Is that the same bull? Oh no. There's another heart shot for you. Oh, what do we got over there? A bear? And that's our... Ooh, that's a good bull! And a good bear! Oh man, I think we might have the moose collar on us. No, we don't. Ooh, we're gonna have to go for... Yeah, it's not gonna be happening. I would have liked to take down that bull. You know what I just realized? I don't even know where in the heck we are right now. Where are we? Oh, we're back here? We're gonna go for about a 140 yard shot probably. And we also have a perfect win to do it as well. All right, here we go. We'll zero in for 141. Oh boy, I wanna get him to slow down here. Or just absolutely smoke him on the trot. What? There is no way. You guys saw that, right? Tell me you saw that. Not exactly double lung, but definitely gonna take down our bear way better than i could have ever imagined for sure yeah i mean he didn't go 60 yards and piled up right here there's our shot a little high and a little far back got him in the vertebrae and it tested 1985 would have been a gold but i mean 145 yards on the trot i'll take it but if i get a shot on that buck i am not passing up the opportunity that is not a buck Oh, you know what else I just realized? That big bull moose could come across. Oh my god, here they come, here they come. Oh, the doe is right there. I don't see the buck yet, but the doe is definitely right there. That is not the buck, but it's a buck. Oh, jeez, there's the big bull. Oh my god, they're all going to come across here. How are we going to know which one to take, guys? Is that our buck? That's our buck, that's our buck. Oh my God, he's 80 yards out. This doe is totally gonna blow our cover. I'm gonna have to go for a shot on this buck. Took a quartering heart shot potential and did not, I repeat, did not pull off that shot. That was a really, really bad idea. But sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Anyways, this big bull moose is about to come across, and that is kind of what I want. Let's see, where is he at? 
That's not him. Man, I thought for sure we could have connected on that shot on that buck. There he is. He's too far for a shot. Unfortunately. And you know what I just realized? I forgot we had this. That definitely would have came in handy. Oh, there he is. Come on, give me a shot. Give me a shot. Oh, he smoked! Should be smoked. How far was that? 216. Yeah, he should be smoked. He definitely should be smoked. Whoa, 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 whoa. How is our buck laying right here if we didn't hit it very good? Did we hit it in the vertebrae? Dude! We pulled off the shot! What? 73 yards! A 235.58 and we just barely clipped the left lung on that buck. But what a beautiful gold. Whitetail, holy. I thought for sure somehow we messed up that shot. I'm not saying we made an amazing shot at all, but we did in fact catch left lung at 73 yards on that buck. And man, we barely pulled that off because that though was seconds from busting us. Ooh, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because that is definitely a vital hit on that bull. Yep. Nice vital hit. I have absolutely no clue where he went after this, so... We'll have to try and figure that out. He spun around and we never even saw him do it. But we got more blood going this way. And now we got some more blood over here. And we got our bull moose down. Right over here. Here we go. Oh, are those turkey tracks? Oh, they are turkey tracks. All right, guys. So we got a nice spot for turkey right here. Resting. And it is, in fact, a Maxway gobbler as well. So guarantee we kicked him up. But we got our big bull down right here. It's going to be a double long. How did the... In the heck... In the heck... In the heck? In the heck? In the heck? In the heck? Did we pull off a double lung shot at 250 yards with the AR-308 on a bull moose? Like the odds of that happening is probably one in 10,000. You could take that exact same shot 10,000 times and you might get double lung one single time. But somehow, we got it. <laughs> I have no clue how. Yeah, the angle was perfect for a single lung quartering shot. And if we had tons of penetration, it would have went through and came out the opposite side, which would have been... Would have been right here. It would have came out right. Right here. Which would have been perfect. Right. But. We got an AR 308. And we're not going to get that much penetration. But you know what? I am super pumped. But you know what? We definitely did somehow. And I don't know how. But I am so grateful. For us to be able to get a double lung shot. On this beautiful bull. I got so excited about the shot that I never even checked to see how big he is. So let's get back there and find out how big he is. He's a 229. So a solid, solid bull down. Big gold bull moose. There we go. Ooh, we got a gobbler right on top of us here, guys. I think we'll probably put our decoys out in the middle here. Again, it's not a very good opening, but it's big enough, I suppose. Maybe I feel like this time we should probably only put two out here. Just because I don't want to have a ton of attention. Once he comes over here, I want him to stay calm and go right to the decoys. Alright, hopefully we have some cover here. Oh, we actually do. Heck yes, we do. 
Boy, he's going to be right on top of us. I don't really know if this is going to work out, but... At least we do, in fact, have some cover. So that is actually a good thing. But let's see if we can't get him to come in. Here we go. If he comes in. Just so you know, there's no getting him with the binoculars. There's no range in him. We're literally pulling up the 12 gauge and going for the shot instantly. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I don't see him, but I definitely hear him. Where are they? Where are they? Oh my god. Well, we're going to try and call. As much as I don't really want to because they're getting super close to us. Right there. There's a hat right there. Oh, there's a gobbler. There's a gobbler. Oh my god. There he is. We got him. He was about to bust. He was about to bust us. But we got him. Holy. Those are all hens there. And that is not a hen. Oh no, that is definitely not a hen. And that is a hen. We got two down here. Nice little bonus. All right. Man, this guy came in. And we almost got busted by him. I mean, I kind of wanted to show you a little bit better view of this turkey before we took the shot instantly, but that was not exactly an option. It's a dark brown. Took him at 29 yards as he was trying to run. Got him six times in the neck there, but you can just see based off the reaction of this turkey that he was literally turning to run away as we took the shot and we still ended up getting him in the neck. So it worked out pretty good after all. 4.18 gold. Luckily, he wasn't that big, but we got him. This one here, I have no clue what it was. It just came flying in, and it was a nice bonus, so we went for it. It's going to be an even smaller one, 4.12, but took him 19 yards in the air and got, looks like, lung, spine, uh, chest, breastbone, and potentially even heart. So he was absolutely smoked as well. But a beautiful gobbler down. Another dark brown. Actually, this is going to be our kind of our first view of a flying turkey. So let's take advantage of that moment. That's pretty sweet there. I do have my biggest turkey ever mounted. And it's flying just like this. So it definitely reminds me of it. That looks pretty sweet just like that. All right. We just got another gobbler call right behind this rock right here. There's a big boulder. And it called somewhere back there. So we could either go up on top of that ridge there and risk potentially jumping them. Or we could hang tight back here and try and tuck into some kind of cover. Which I am not seeing a lot of cover, I'll be honest with you. So I think we'll have to just kind of make do with what we have. We'll throw out a couple of gobbler decoys here. And then we'll throw some hens out as well. 46 yards out. Not a giant male, but definitely a male. If we don't see this gobbler very soon here, we're going to get ready and take down this male. Black bear because he's coming. Oh, here's the gobbler. Oh, that's actually not a gobbler. That's a hen. So at least we have motion of a turkey. But okay. We got to throw in our 600s. Because either way, this bear is less than... Yeah, he's actually 30 right there. Yep. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Ooh, smoked him. He's going down right there. And there's only a hen. I don't honestly know where our gobbler went. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There he is. There he is, guys. Oh, my God. It's another light brown. Oh... That's why he didn't come into the call. He was smart. Man. All right, guys, we got gobblers right on top of us here. I don't know if it's going to be the exact same one that we had from before, but we got gobblers right on top of us here. I hear something else coming in as well. Where is he? We got decent cover here, but we got to be able to see him to take the shot. Oh, I 
it's him, it's him, I see him, I see him. There he is, oh my god, he was full strut. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You gotta be kidding me. We're going for the shot, guys. Smoked him, he's down. Whew, big gobbler down. He was out there full strut, 49 yards out. Perfect. This guy was tough. We tried to get him a couple times. He kept on spooking on us. And finally we came back in. We decided to come in from this outpost instead. The next morning, and we set up over here. We put our decoys out. We actually called him in. Right on the back side of this ridge here. You can see there's kind of a really thick ridge here. Well, they were roosting on this side. And I couldn't actually get them to come out. So we had to loop around this side. And by doing that, they actually lured right into our decoys. So it worked out almost perfectly. But here he is right here. A 4.16, a light brown. And take a look at that. We finally got ourselves our first gobbler in full strut when we took the shot. Heck yeah. 47 yards out. And we absolutely drilled him 27 times in the neck, the spine, and the lung. Let's take a look at this beautiful gobbler right here. Man, that is awesome. Big old white beard. Long white beard. Huge spurs as well. Wow, that's cool. Well, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, Leighton Lakes is the absolute king for turkeys right now. It is so awesome to hunt turkeys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.